Hi, my name is Al and I'm with Above and Beyond Creative Sewing and today I'm going to show you how to do an echo pattern around a design using your Baby Lock Solaris. If you have a Solaris already, you may know that you can add echo patterns and pattern fills around any design, even a design you created using the IQ Designer. And there's a couple of ways of doing that, so I'm going to show you those ways today. The first way I'm going to show you is using the IQ Designer. So let's go ahead and go to our embroidery tab right on our home screen, and we're going to pick an embroidery design. Now I found this, um, I found this uh, awesome starfish in here under the Ocean Life tab. And there's all these different built-in designs, but we're going to go ahead and pick the starfish, and I'm going to hit Set. So now I can resize my starfish to whatever size I want to make him. I'm just going to go ahead to here to Size, resize him down to a little bit smaller size. That's about four and a half inches by four inches, so that's perfect. So I'm going to hit OK, and at this point I'm going to choose this icon right over here, which is the Stamp Tool. You may recognize that from the IQ Designer, but it's the, it's the, same, um, it's the same icon that we use in IQ Designer. So go ahead and touch that, and over here it's going to ask me what the distance is from the edge of my design. So I'm going to make that a little bit wider, so that my echo, my uh, uh, pattern fill doesn't encroach on the actual design itself. Let's go a little bit further, about a quarter inch or so. I can choose whether I want the pattern fill also to go on the inside or the outside or both. Because this is an embroidery design that's already got stitching on the inside, I'm going to leave that inside button to the off setting. And then I'm going to simply touch the memory button and it's going to tell me to retrieve it from the IQ Designer Stamp Pattern List. So I'm going to press OK to let it know that I'm going to go ahead to the IQ Designer. So now let's go to the IQ Designer. I'm going to go to the Home button and choose IQ Designer. And I'm going to recall that pattern from the Stamp button, which is right over here. And there's my flower like I had in the other program. And I'm going to choose my Starfish and press OK. Now, you see it just it's uh, going to stitch just an outline of the starfish, and I'm going to fill around the starfish. And one of the cool things here is I can tell it whatever size or shape I want to fill into. So we're going to go here and we're going to tell it we're going to define an area without any stitches. So I'm going to choose the No Stitch icon and press OK. And then we're going to just do a box. So I'm going to pick the box, which is going to be around my starfish and I can make that box whatever size I want. So if I'm going to be using this on a quilt, let's say I was using an 8 inch by 8 inch block, I would simply expand the box to 8 by 8. Try to make it exact, there we go, and press OK. So now it's got my starfish uh, stamp in the middle and then my 8 inch block around. So now I'm going to go ahead to my pattern fills, pick the color that I'm going to use. Let's do blue for the ocean and I'm going to go to my pattern list, and the Solaris has all these different patterns built in. I can pick whatever I like. Let's do that one because it kind of looks like waves, and I'm going to fill in around my starfish. Once I'm happy with that, I hit next, and now I can change the size, the rotation, the orientation of all those waves. We're going to make it a little bit larger, so I'm going to come here to my size tab, and make it about 125%, hit enter, and it'll automatically show me what it looks like right on the screen. Once I'm happy with that, I can hit the set button and bring it into my embroidery tab. Now I have to put the starfish back, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit add, go to my, ta my design tab, go back to the ocean life button, and pick my starfish. I'm gonna have to resize the starfish down to fit into that block, or I could have saved it before I went to the stamp tool and just picked it, picked the correct size. But there we are. So now my starfish is right in the middle of the waves. Press OK and embroidery, and I'm ready to sew out my starfish and my wave pattern behind the starfish. So that's one way of creating a pattern background for any of the existing embroideries you have. Another way is to actually do it in the embroidery screen, which is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return here and delete everything I've done. And we're going to start over. This time I'm going to do everything in embroidery. So I'm going to touch my exclusives tab and go back to my starfish, which is under Ocean Life. Pick my starfish and hit set. 
resize it to whatever size I want. I can make it bigger or smaller. And with the Baby Lock Solaris, it'll actually calculate the number of stitches needed to complete the resizing. So you're not going to get too bulky a design or too sparse a design. It does it for you automatically. Press OK when I have my size correct. And now I want to tell it what hoop I'm going to work into. So I'm going to go back to my, I'm going to go to my stippling icon, which is right over here. I'm going to choose that icon. And I'm going to tell it what hoop I want to use for my design. So let's say I want to do this in an 8x8 hoop, which is similar to what we just did on the um, IQ designer. So I'm just going to find my 8x8, which is here somewhere. There we go. Keep going. So we're going through all the available possible hoops for the um, Solaris right now. So it's going to take a couple of seconds to find the right hoop. But there's the 8x8 hoop. And look at what it did. It automatically did a um, stipple, around uh, a uh, echo pattern around the design. I can change the distance from the design by increasing it or decreasing it using that button. And I can also increase the spacing. So let's say my echo quilt pattern is just too close together. I can simply bring this number up and make it as wide or as narrow as I want. So now we're it's thinking and it's going to recalculate all the stitches. Isn't that great? Now, of course, I can use it for doing this echo pattern. I could also do fills with it. So I can touch the fill button. And now instead of doing the echo pattern, I can go ahead to any of those fills that I had in the IQ designer. And let's just pick that one. And now it'll fill that background with that pattern. So there's a lot of different ways to be able to customize your work. If you're quilting, you can fill up the block and make it look like whatever you want it to. If you're doing embroidery, this is a great way to add an accent around a design you already have. Or if you've created a design, it's a great way to finish it. Now remember, with the Solaris, you can do inside or outside. So if I wanted to do two different designs, I would simply have done the starfish in the IQ designer, delete the embroidery, and filled the inside with something else. So I have two patterns going at the same time, but in the general shape of the starfish. So there's a lot of ways to do this. The Baby Lux Lyris gives you a lot of different options when you're creating your own design work, which I'm sure you're going to absolutely love. So if you have a Solaris, give this a shot at home and try it out and see how it works for you. If you don't have a Solaris and you really like what I just showed you, give us a call here at the store. Again, we're above and beyond creative sewing in Nanuet, and we'll be happy to show you how this works. You can come on in for a demo, and uh, you can take home, home your own uh, Baby Lux Solaris. So thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you real soon. Bye-bye.